Why does the narcissist treat everyone better than you? Why are they so kind and friendly to everyone, but so mean to you? Whenever they're around you, they can seem so cruel and mean. They can seem so selfish and manipulative, so pushy and bossy, so overconfident and controlling. They judge you by your past rather than helping to build your future. They are unwilling to listen to you. They don't value anything you have to say. They withhold their kindness from you. They try to make themselves look great by making you look small. They look down on you without any intention of helping you up. But then they treat everyone else with fairness and equality. They give everyone else equal rights and opportunities. While they just leave you out in the cold. They leave you in a bad position. They don't give you the rights or advantages that they give to other people. Why do they do that? Why do they treat you this way? The reason why the narcissist treats you differently to everyone else. The reason why they treat everyone better than you. is because they believe that you are better than everyone. They believe that you are better than them. They believe that you are more capable than they are. They believe that you have an unfair advantage. And they don't like it. It makes them feel inferior to you. It makes them feel like they are beneath you. So they will try to level the playing field by taking away certain rights or advantages that you should be entitled to. They try to balance things out because you are more capable than everyone else. It makes you stick out like a sore thumb. You are different from everyone else. And they can see it in the way that you walk and talk. You walk and behave in a very confident way. As though you recognise your importance. And in their minds that takes something away from them. Because they're looking at you and they're comparing themselves to you. And they feel like they don't measure up. They feel like they're not at your level or standard. They feel like they're beneath you. And that is what gives them the motivation and desire to want to tear you down. To bring you down to their level. So that they don't have to keep looking up at you and feeling inferior to you. As Jim Ron once said, There are two ways to have the tallest building in town. One is to tear everyone else's building down and the other is to build your building taller. But these types of people know that they do not possess the capabilities to compete with you. Which is why they feel the need to tear you down and to put everyone else above you. They will target your self-worth and self-esteem. and make you think you're not as good as you are. And then they will compare you to other people. They will make you think that other people are better than you. Because that's exactly how they feel whenever they are around you. They feel like you are better than them. 
and it just makes them feel inferior. It makes them feel small. So they treat everyone else better than you, to project their emotions onto you, to make you feel the way they do, to make you feel small. People can see how you feel about yourself. They can tell by the way you move. They can tell by the way you behave. They observe your speech, body language, facial expressions, and the way you groom yourself. It reveals your opinion about yourself. It shows that you are well looked after. You are well taken care of. You have everything you need. You wear nice clothes. You eat good food. You have a nice home. You are provided with physical ease and relaxation. You live a cozy, snug, warm and pleasant life. You are physically relaxed and free from constraints. You are free from stress or tension. Free from financial worry. You have an adequate standard of living. You've had a cushy life. You've had it so easy. And people are seeing all of this. Even if they don't see where you live. Even if they don't see what car you drive. They see it in the way you carry yourself. They notice it in the way you feel about yourself. And it tears them apart. Because life hasn't been so easy for them. Their lives have been filled with challenges and difficulties. They may have been born into non-ideal circumstances. They may have lived in harsh conditions. They may have struggled to make ends meet. And they're looking at you. At how life has been so easy for you. And how everything just seems to fall into your lap. You quickly and unexpectedly achieve and obtain something desirable without effort. While they have to run themselves into the ground for nothing. They have to work themselves to the point of illness or exhaustion. While everything is so easy for you. When they see the way you carry yourself and the way you live, it bothers them. It causes them to feel worried and upset. They feel like they are being pestered and provoked because it triggers them to reflect on their own lives. It makes them realize how little they've accomplished in their own lives. They see you as being special. They see you as being better than they are. And it makes them feel less than you. Which is why they treat you unfairly. Which is why they treat everyone better than you. Because they don't want to entertain the idea that you are better than them. Even though that's what they think. They try to brush it off by acting like you're nothing special. They try to dismiss you. They try to treat you as being unworthy of their consideration. And they disrespect you. They look down on you. They try to make you feel like you're nothing. While they treat everyone else with kindness and respect. Because they want you to see that. And they want you to think that other people are more deserving of respect than you are. Because secretly they see your worth. They see that you're something special. They see that there's something different about you. But they don't want you to know that they see that. They want you to think that they don't see it. They want you to think that they think you're not a big deal. You're not as great as you may think.
So they put other people before you. They put other people on a pedestal. They present other people as being perfect with no faults. They admire other people excessively. In an attempt to make you feel small. To make you feel like you're nothing. They always have to throw shade on you. They have to lessen your effectiveness, power and ability. They have to get under your skin. They have to irritate you intensely. They have to fill your mind in a compelling and a persistent way. Because all of these amazing things about you have captivated their interest and attention. It's caused them to obsess over you in a way where they just can't leave you alone. And the only way they feel they can relieve these emotions is by getting under your skin, by irritating you and making your life difficult. Because they're envious of you. That is why they disrespect you. That is why they ignore you. They have to treat you like you don't even exist. Because they see you as being better than them. And it makes them feel small. It makes them feel inferior to you. It makes them feel like you are attacking them. So now they have to get revenge. Now they have to hurt you. In return for a perceived injury or wrong they suffered at your hands. And the only way they know how to do this is by treating you like you don't even exist. But don't take this personally. It has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. It has everything to do with their lack of confidence and low self-esteem. How we treat people is a reflection of our own self-worth. They don't value or respect themselves, so they can't value or respect you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor, Dakota, UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.